And just like that, the next episode has begun. Welcome back to 2064 Read Only Memories. I am your host, Mega Shadow Fist. I suck at video games, I suck at commentary. And when we last left up, what were we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Well, we were doing things, and we're doing even more things. So let's go to continue. Huh? That's Detective Rivers! What a collision! God damn it, watch where you're going, yeah? Stop those kids! Yes, don't let those two escape. We think they have something to do with the spray paint. Is that so? Well, that's a good thing I was here when I was. I was told that the human garbage whatever put just dispersed for some reason, so I had the station to come check it out. And then I learned that some freaky shit was going on on with the auto cabs right around the spot and... Let me guess, that was all you two, huh? Um, uh, well, uh, you see... The important part is that now we have the new lead of the case of these two! We ain't a lead, so get off our case! I match the hues of those paints and the patterns at the bottom of your shoes with 95% accuracy to the scene of the heat of Hayden Weber's apartment. Did you not hear what I- That's enough. Out of all of you. Come on, kids. We're heading downtown. Chad, I don't want to get arrested. Shut up and play it cool. Hey, you will remember this. Wait a second. What's this you have on you? Uh, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Huh? Hey, that's the data cache we've been looking for. That belongs to Hayden and by association, me. Good enough for me. Here, knock yourself out. Data cache added to items. Thank you, Lexi. This is a big one for the case. You'll, you'll see. Damn it, we lost our score. How dare you steal from Hayden? What were you even doing in this apartment? Pfft, we just took it on, took it upon it. You had a guess like that are worth a lot, right? Wait, there's a storage capacity than regular data drive. Don't even care about it anymore. I'll get these punks out of here. You two keep up the... Well, I wouldn't necessarily call it good, but it's work, so keep doing that. Later, detectives. Shit, I don't know who to pick for my one phone call. Look, just relax. I'll be with you the whole time. Yeah, you're right. We'll make it through all this together. That's right. Just a change of plans. Come on, you two. You kids, and remember, <laughs> have fun with it. Okay. Well, that was a thing. Um, now we're... what's going on here? Uh... That's not right! On certain I deactivate a snow moon! Incoming call from Tomcat! Hey, folks! Jess just called and told me she has a clear way to act to the Axis node. She'll get you inside, and I'll walk you through connecting me so I can access the Parallax Network. That should help her hunt. Did you get the data cache? Yes, those folks happen to have it. Oh, great. We don't have time to worry about it right now, though. Go to Stardust and drop it off with my Jeep for me, okay? He'll he'll hold it to pass it on to me once I get there. I mean, it's to trigger an alert with Parallax's network security, and they're gone. They're going to be moving their locks from one secure server to another. I need y'all in place at the access node before they do. No time for lollygagging. No problem, Tomcat. We'll make our way there directly after we return to Stardust. We can worry about the weather rods malfunction later. Let's go, our mission for just is done. Would we even... Don't bug it, it already seems to be in a stormy mood. I wasn't gonna try to mess with it anyway because I, I didn't want to end up like breaking it even worse or anything, so I'm just gonna... What we're gonna do is we're gonna save over slot four. Save, please. Yes, please. Done. Let's go ahead and continue. Mm -mm. Map. Hospital. There we go. Well, the one with the exclamation mark, silly. Don't be stupid. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> 
<laughs> what was that voice you might say? I don't know. There's my G. We should leave this data cache with him first. Like Tomcat asked. Okay, his data cache. Oh, right. Tomcat asked me to take that off your hands and pass it on to them later. Thanks for getting it to me. Data cache removed from items? I don't pester you about what it is. I know things are, are always very hush hush with Tomcat. I'll make sure that they get it later today. Excellent, thank you. Okay. Let's go ahead and what are we gonna do now then? I don't know. Let's talk to uh, Buddy Guy over here. By Buddy Guy, I mean Gus. Hey there. That's all you can say, okay. Let's talk to Majid then. Hey, good to see you back. What can I do for you? i like a drink, please. What are you having? Uh, green tea. Mo Sugar Rush? Is that supposed to be a VA11 thing? I'm not quite sure. Sunshine Cloud is a VA11 thing, though. Sunshine Cloud. So many drinks these days. Dictionary, the open alcoholopedia says. Oh, I got this, sweetie. Sunshine Cloud is two out of eight high, two bronze and extract with optional carmatrine on the rocks and blended. Basically, the adult version of chocolate milk has a bit of caramel taste as well. Super sweet. Thank you, hun. Sounds good. Here you go. Sunshine Cloud served. Items. I think we'll have one more drink. I'm not quite sure, because I, I don't want to get like super intoxicated here. Uh, look at Sunshine Cloud. Two Edo Hide and two Bronze and Extract with optional Carmatrine on the rocks and blended. Drink Sunshine Cloud. Ah, refreshing. You drank your drink. Okay. Hey, good to see you back. What can I do for you? I like a drink, please. What are you having? Okay. Let's see what else. Are there any other VA11 things here? Hmm. Sunshine Cloud. Fluffy Dream is actually a, a VA11 thing. Any other things, though? Rusty Nell. That's not, that's not a VA11 thing. Mo Sugar Rush? I'm not quite sure if that's supposed to be a VA11 thing or not, though. Gut punches, we already had that. Butch flour. We already had the ingredients and ratios, which is not a VA11 drink, but we did that to talk to uh, Caitlin, was it? Yep, okay, so that seems to be it for like uh, VA11 stuff. So we have the. Uh, oops! Not the. Oops. Basically, there you go. Ah, poor Turing. Maybe something else. Like what? Okay, the uh, fluffy dream is what I want. Here we are. Hey, hun, uh, what is that one? What's in that one? Fluffy dream is three Edo hide and three powder delta with optional karma treat, all aged and mixed. A couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety. More of them, you'll be sleeping soundly, sweet and sour. Poor Turing. Thanks, hun. Sounds good. Here you go! Fluffy Dream served. Items? Look at Fluffy Dream. Three Edo Hide and three Powder Delta with optional Karma Tree and all Asian mix. Drink Fluffy Dream. If you keep this up, you, you, you need to find a bathroom. That's what they say. Okay. Now I want to see if the Moo Sugar Rush is a. Uh, is a V is is that supposed to be a variant of V eleven thing? Because a sugar rush is a V eleven drink. We'll see. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's look at this. Hey, hun, uh, what's this one? Mo sugar rush is half cotton candy liquor, half punch. Tastes sweet and fruity, but gets you drunk. Cheap, fun, and often served in solo cups at furry conventions. Furry conventions. Turing. <laughs> Thanks, huh? Thanks, hun. Uh, maybe something else. So that's not a VA11 thing. Now, I want to see if the beer is actually like a VA11 thing or not. Sunshine Cloud, we already had that, right? Yeah, we did. 
Because, like, I mean, sure, because I want to see if it's the VA-11 version of a beer or not. If it's not, then I think that's it. We had all the VA-11 stuff that I can think of, anyway. Aside from, like, specialty drinks, because, like, there are a couple, like, specialty bottles that you can get, but, um... I don't think that, um... I don't remember what they were, because I don't really, 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 I never really used the specialty drinks. Beer. Hey, hun, uh, what's in this, that one? Beer is a local brewed beer, nothing too sharp or bitter, just a nice, crisp, weedy beer, ice cold. Come on, babe, you know what a beer is. Here, get this to Mega. Ah, thank you, hun. Sounds good. Here you go. Beer served. Okay. I was about to say, like, why did he just ask what a beer was? Oh, under focus patron. Okay, I guess what we can do is focus on, uh... Actually, hold on. Will they let us in? You again. Alright, I'll let you in, but you better stay out of trouble. Okay. Let's talk to Caitlyn first. I kind of feel like dancing now. Wanna join me? Hey, I heard from my friends down the street that the princess is gone. Must have been you, huh? Alright then, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt and return the favor. Tomcat said that if you got, uh, got to it or Ben Nexus knew, you might be able to find out what happened to Hayden. Access note added to the city map. I call up a buddy who's on the night shift of Parallax tonight. He can buzz you in, but if anything happens, you broke in. This puts us at about even. Don't think about drawing any more debits for, debits for a while. Good luck. Keep me out of your shit. Well, thank you for that. Now can we dance? This is exactly what I need to get my mind up things. Nope. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. You had to leave your drink behind. Okay, well that was... Sure. Map. Stardust Club, that's where we are now. Lexi's at the NSFPD station. Can we try to fix this actually, I wonder? I wonder. Can we do it now? This has got to be one of those most expensive ROMs made, and it surely has a security system, so hands off. Actually. Hey! Hey! I told you, Ducks, not to break my ROM! Now I can't get it to stop snowing! Those projects are gone, but I'm still not gonna have any customers with it freezing like this! This hasty hot cup is the perfect thing to warm me up! Hey, it's you! Snow? Oh, snowware! I guess I'll wait it out, it out in here! Well, look at it out there, so magical! Uh, don't think I've forgiven you, you dingus! I better go get some hashy hot cups going! Well, all's well that ends well, right? I'll check the mesh for common issues with the mode selector of the 6703 ROM unit and forward the solution to the Hassie bar owner. I'm certain she'll be able to get it turned off at the customer rush. Okay. But first and foremost, I you that I'm a lawyer. The first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to save. If it's lot 4 over here, let's go and save. Yes, please. And done. So how's your day been, ladies and gentlemen? My day's been alright, all things considered. It was a pretty... Decent day, all things considered. I'm not exactly in a super OP mood, though, all things considered. I don't know if you can tell because, eh, just stuff happens. Dog patch. 12 December 21st, 2064, New OSF, patch, Dog patch. I got a comment from Phoenix after one of the first parts like, oh, what a lovely day to start an adventure. Yes, it is. December the 20 effing first. Are you freaking kidding me right now? This is the place Tonka said we should head to. Unassuming and quiet. I'll be honest, I don't think I would be in this... I don't think I'd be in this section of the city without just giving us all the clear. The all clear. The crowd's statistics are quite alarming, so let us get down with an air, down with an air in here and move on to the safer ground.
Uh. Don't. Let's hope she. Don't be worried about getting mugged. I can't help it. Stealing a ROM is considered petty theft, and I'd really rather not be taken by some miscreant out to pawn me for a minor amount of credits. Our hypothetical kidnapper wouldn't even be punished worse than a slap on the wrist if it were a first offense. Though I suppose I shouldn't get too worked up about the legal system not accounting for machine sapiens. I am the first. That I know of, anyway. Okay. Generator. Beautiful turbo generator out here. Just just generating energy. When was it using all this extra power? <laughs> turbo generators are definitely solid Stefan are really solidly built and not easy to get in without smashing them apart. Letter. Standard plastic bag level letter. Gives new meaning to trash talk. <laughs> Shut up. Even if you wanted to pick that up, it's practically scumwood to the street. You know, right after we found Hayden's apartment in such disarray, I started looking at graffiti and street art more thoroughly. I have never much considered doing any of it myself, but it seems like an interesting avenue to pursue once I move beyond abstract expressionism. The simpler tags, visual shadows of identical identity and existence. They exhibit a feeling I can sympathize with, but it's these larger pieces, right, riots of color and chaos that really interest me. Petty vandalism is beneath me, but there are other avenues for the practice. For example, did you know that Los Angeles in the mid 2030s legalized the tagging of mural style street art on any building without requiring permission from the owner or city? It was chaos of the highest degree for a while, but now the place is truly remarkable. Perhaps I will visit once this is all done with. <laughs> that graffiti is actually the symbol of Gonzo journalism. Ah, oh, I hadn't even noticed! Do you have much experience with Gonzo Journalism yourself or putting after or during direct participation? If you go end up writing in, of, on this experience, whatever you produce would be the very definition of it. You're too close to, object, to be objective now, and you're a key subject in this event. It doesn't seem to be your un unusual style, but you couldn't go another route at this point, and you're in the clear as you didn't in instigate the situation. Hmm, I never had much interest in the practice, but spending so much time around you has taught me to look at events in a different light, perhaps only because I can verify your personal experiences as fact. Sorry, I'm rambling again, aren't I? And we're on a schedule, I don't even want to think about this. What if we don't find Hayden? What if we do? My memory processes are shot from the stress of the past day, it's already taken a toll on me. But never mind. Let's find the access node. Let's find Hayden. Did it actually just say something to you? This wall is pretty grimy. Stop touching it. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Shrippy doesn't even begin to describe what you're hearing right now. That was it. This is the door to the apartment building. It's not the access node. Don't wake the Nabots! Did I say Nabots? I meant neighbors! Sorry, I'm really tired. Besides, this is the wrong door. Interesting that a robot is saying that it's tired. No! The access node is next door to this is is it next to this building. That's the wrong place. Fan. Gotta keep the generator cool, or else, you know, it'll break. This fan needs no service. This pipe is doing what all good pipes should do. It's piping out out the energy out that energy. You can't pull it off of the generator, no matter how hard you try. I think that's everything. So anyway, awkward pause. See you guys in the next episode.